You may be wondering what type of air purifier will eliminate my odor problem, and we'll answer that question covering problems with mold and mildew, pet odors, cooking odors, chemical fumes, and different kinds of smoke, stove, chimney, tobacco, etc. So in this video, we'll cover the four types of air purifier technologies for odors, which type of odor problems each are going to help, and finally some air purifier model suggestions with budgets in mind for those problems. So the four technologies are carbon, zeolite, electrostatic, negative ion, and ozone. The other types of air purification like HEPA, pre-filters, UV, TR2 don't do anything for odor itself, but some of them have uses for the cause of the odor. But let's start with carbon and zeolite. Those are both minerals, and what makes them so effective is that they have all these little thousands of little tiny pockets inside the mineral. So as air with gas passes through it, the charge of those minerals in little pockets will hold gases, odors, and fumes. And it's relatively inexpensive, but in most purifiers you buy, you have to occasionally change the filter with carbon or zeolite because they get filled when they get filled with gas that renders them ineffective. Next we have electrostatic and you've probably seen these advertised on TV and they have the flat plates or mesh. Uh, mesh being almost like a cheese grater. It's got holes in it whereas flat plates like a oh kind of like a little cookie plate uh, cookie dish for cooking. Um, as air passes over those plates, they're positively and negatively charged, and that can often disable smoke and odors, and pretty effective for that. And what's nice about it, they're inexpensive because they're washable. Uh, the reason I mentioned plates or mesh ones, the ones that have holes in the, it's not just one big flat plate, but the plate has holes in it, will not produce ozone. We'll talk about ozone later, but electrostatic can sometimes create ozone. Next, we have negative ion which is different than ozone. It's different often than an ionizer. A negative ion is a little device which creates negative ions in the air. And negative ions are good for reducing mold, for odors, reducing pollution. It's also natural and healthy. Negative ions are what the ocean produces and um, a waterfall produces. And those are actually necessary for our bodies, but they do have a natural, just as in nature, ability to actually kill odor and actually cleanse as well, too. And it's inexpensive. There's really no maintenance on it. And in a purifier, negative ions go out into the air. They're generally found after the fan of the purifier. They go out into the room at a distance to kill odor, etc., but also to make the air, the air healthier. Also, if you live indoors in the winter, or you have air conditioning on all the time in the summer, it's good to have negative ions because uh, AC and also heating uh, of the air indoors creates very dead air. And the difference between dead air and alive air is really the, the amount of negative ions in the air. So we definitely want negative ions. And then next we look at ozone. And ozone is, well, think of it as an oxygen molecule that's high, that's given electrical charge, creating rather than O2, o, which is oxygen, O3, which is ozone. And that extra third molecule is very unstable, which makes it very effective out uh, both in nature but also with an ozone machine or an ozone-producing air purifier. It'll actually knock out smoke, odor, and kill mold very effectively. So I use it for treating a room as needed, and that's because it's also ozone can be very unhealthy. High levels of ozone, that extra molecule can actually irritate lung problems and can even damage tissue if it's in high enough amounts. So you have to be very careful with ozone. It's not something I'd use all the time. So let's talk about the different areas we can be treating. First, mold and mildew. The technology is good for those are the negative ion, as I mentioned, electrostatic for odor, uh, and ozone treatment. And ideally, if you have a lot of mold and mildew, then uh, something that has an on-off function so you can actually treat for a little while, but not be around the ozone when it's out there in the air because of the problems it, it can cause in your health. So it's very effective for treatment, but it's not something you want to breathe and not something you want to use every day. 
And then I mentioned HEPA, and while it doesn't kill odor or take odor out of the air, it does gather mold spores. So if you had mold, HEPA is good because the HEPA filter is going to catch those mold spores. And when those mold spores go out into a room, it actually spreads the mold around the room. So HEPA can be effective for that. So then when we get to pet odors, uh, negative ion, because it's good for odor removal, but also for the health of your pet and also for human health as well. Electrostatic, which is going to help with some of the odors. And then also carbon, which is also going to collect some of the odors as well too. Now when it comes to like pet urine or pet feces, that's very hard to get out of carpeting or out of floors. Um, just because it's going to continue, unless you really have the carpet clean to begin with, it's going to continue to produce odor over time because the bacteria grows and grows and grows. It continues to grow, so you can take it out of the air in the moment, but as soon as you shut the machine, uh, like a purifier off, uh, it's going to continue to produce odor. So that's kind of the challenge when it comes to pet odors uh, when it's involved in urine or feces. But those are the three technologies primarily I recommend. And then for cooking odors, I recommend negative ion, uh, electrostatic, and carbon, which will do a good job. Uh, cooking odors aren't, aren't too hard to get rid of, so you just turn up the, uh, the air purifier that has these technologies. And then for chemical odors and fumes, and if you're environmentally sensitive, then definitely lots of carbon and, and or zeolite. Carbon and zeolite are somewhat the same in function. I actually like zeolite a little better, but you find carbon much more often than you do uh, zeolite. And then electrostatic will help with some of that as well. And then also negative ion, both for removing some of the odors. It doesn't do that much for the fumes. Carbon is better for fumes. Uh, but the negative ion is also going to help support healthy lungs. And then for chimney odors uh, and particles from uh, like a wood-burning stove, and you can also count this in for um, cigarette smoke as well. Uh, HEPA for gathering the particles, and HEPA is going to get filled by the carbon or the tar from cigarettes and, and cigars, so that can get a little expensive. And then electrostatic is very effective for, for smoke, and then you've got carbon to consume some of the uh, smoke and, and odors and chemicals that might be coming from the, the burning as well. And then negative ion for the health of the lungs and also additionally to remove some of the odors as well. And with uh, like wood burning stove, stoves, it's very hard to get that, much like cigarettes, get those smells out of um, carpets and draperies, etc. So it's a little difficult to expect the pure air purifier to get rid of all of that because when that tar is on those materials is going to continue to emit over and over and over again. So those are some of the primary technologies and some of the ones I suggest for those problems. Here are some air purifier suggestions that are going to match those problems. For mold and mildew, here's a nice little model called the AirPod Cleaner or AirPod MT3C. And that's because it's very affordable at $139. It has on-off timed ozone. So you can leave it on when you're going out of the house for a little while and let the ozone kill a lot of the mold. It has negative ion, which helps kill uh, odor and mold. And then carbon for odor. And then HEPA, as I mentioned before, for gathering mold spores. And then for pet odors, you might want to look at the Alive Air Purifier. It's actually used in some pet grooming stores as well. It has a pre-filter which is going to gather pet hair and some dander. You just wash that. It's washable. You have negative ion for odor in both for pet and human health. You've got carbon for removing odor. You've got HEPA for removing dander, dust, and pollen. You have electrostatic for odor and pollution. You have UV to kill viruses, germs, and bacteria. And TiO2 to enhance UV. But it's really those first four or five technologies out of the seven in this machine uh, they're going to help with the pet odors themselves and then for cooking odors either the Alive Air or the AirPod MT3C both have enough technology with carbon and negative ion the Alive Air also has electrostatic uh, to get, uh, get rid of those cooking odors and then for chemical fumes the Alive Air purifier with, with th it, four of its seven technologies helping uh, with chemicals. 
And then for chimneys, the kind of the same thing in terms of removing with a number of technologies uh, some of the stuff in the air. And the Alive Air Purifier, what's nice about it, it costs two ninety seven, but it covers over eight hundred fifty square feet. It has affordable replacement filters, which are both HEPA and carbon combined, uh, so you don't have to replace both. You just replace one, and it includes both. A three-year warranty, and it has auto sensors that actually detect if there's a smoke problem in the air. So let you and your family breathe better without unhealthy odors. Get in a live air purifier today. And you can go to the link below or just go to liveair.com for this special. Thanks for watching.